It's such a different regime to making decisions about uh, what you might buy next on Amazon or what movie you might want to watch next when the decision maybe relates to personalized medicine or to designing a rocket or designing an airplane. Let's go back now to the ISIUM TV classroom where I'm delighted to be joined by Professor Karen Wilcox who's talking about physics-based machine learning. Karen, thanks so much for joining us. It's great to be here. Perhaps you could tell us to start with what do we mean by predictive data science? Sure. So uh, predictive data science is really the notion that we have a tremendous opportunity to harness the explosion of data that's happening across the world but particularly in applications across science, engineering and medicine. But in these, in these areas where the decisions are really high consequence, where we're making decisions where literally people's lives are at stake, that a purely data-driven approach, pure data science, harnessing the data is not enough. We really also need to build in domain knowledge to harness the incredible predictive power of physics-based models, of governing equations, of the laws of nature. And this is really the domain of computational science and engineering and mathematical modeling. So predictive data science is the notion that we need a convergence. We need to bring together these two fields, the data science, the data-driven perspective, together with a very rich uh, set of mathematical models and methods in computational science and engineering. And that's what you're demonstrating with this, this part of the slide. That's right. So uh, this, is, this, this part of the slide is really showing that uh, this is not a new idea. In fact, uh, this is an idea that's been at the heart of applied mathematics and computational science and engineering for many years. What's changed is that we're now in a, in a world where there is so much more data than ever before. Uh, data that we can generate by simulations, but also data that we can collect from our physical systems. And so really one of the very exciting questions and opportunities is how do we take all these, these areas from applied mathematics, areas that are represented very well at the ISEAM meeting here this week, how do we take them, uh, bring their theory to bear on very important questions in machine learning and in predictive data science, but also rethink some of what we do in the face of these volumes of data. And how do we do that? So uh, there are many ways, and again, there are many talks this week that are really showing this, this interplay and interfaces. Uh, my own area of research is in projection-based model reduction, which is what I'll, I'll talk about tomorrow, which is really the idea of uh, taking data from very large-scale, expensive simulations like this, this example here of a rocket engine, where generating uh, simulations of the rocket engine takes hours, hundreds and hundreds of hours to generate. And so using perspectives, again, building in the mathematical models, the laws of physics, but putting that together with a machine learning perspective on learning from data, we can build what we call reduced order models. So these are much simpler models that uh, capture, they're approximate, but they capture just enough of the physics to be able to run those simulations much, much faster. And then that's, of course, very critical when it comes to, for example, making design decisions where you don't want to analyze just one rocket, but you'd really like to be able to study thousands of different configurations before making a decision. And where do you see this field progressing in, in the future? What's next? As we see data science and machine learning come to bear on very important applications in science, engineering, and medicine, where, again, those decisions are high consequence, it's such a different regime to making decisions about uh, what you might buy next on Amazon or what movie you might want to watch next when the decision maybe relates to personalized medicine or to designing a rocket or designing an airplane. Uh, we have to think about uh, how, to, how to make those, those uh, predictions certified. And then I would add a second really important piece for the future is to think about education. And so, so much of our education is really structured around our traditional lines of applied math, uh, computer science and engineering and what we see is that something like predictive data science really sits at the interfaces. It's something that needs to weave together the perspectives of physical modeling and engineering models with the theory of applied math and then the power of computer science and machine learning. And so thinking about how we educate students for that future in interdisciplinary programs, again, I think it's a really important issue. Well, it's great to discuss all of that with you, Karen. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.